cash advance, puppies, tax refunds, income taxes. Oh, a guitar show. It's the Guitar Expo and Static X concert, all in one. What the heck is this? Dude, we're here at the fairgrounds tonight for Static X and Seven Dust and Dope. And what the f is this? Blockbuster video. What's happening? The last blockbuster? Wow. What? So, um, these guys are from actually the last blockbuster in Bend, Oregon, and they're here, like, just doing a pop up, selling merch, doing videos, just trying to, like, get you to do the whole experience. Taken two. That's hilarious. What? Look at all of this. Oh my god, the video cassette record <laughs> rewinder recorder. Duh, Smokey and the Bandit. The Evil Dead. Chucky, well, the only of these like DVDs. We didn't really have DVDs when we were going to Blockbuster. It was mostly video cassettes. But they got plenty of those over here too. Look at these like kid movies and stuff. And there's a whole, oh, there's a whole thing back here. What is happening? Oh, an Oasis is playing. Look at this! What is happening? Tango and Cash and Cliffhanger. Wow, dude! The Wizard of Oz celebrating 85 years. And they got the good stuff. It's always the 80s in here. Oh, the Tigger movie. I have that at home. CB4, that's great. Thelma and Louise. And they have like a whole section here. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tom Cruise. John Travolta. Oh my god, it's Rocky and Rocky 2. Carl Weathers just passing away here today. Nice little tribute. Strangeland with Dee Snyder. So this is only here for tonight. Look at this. I feel like we must have had like a car accident on the way over to the fairgrounds because I can't believe this. Look at the computer to check out. Visit our website. I just can't believe this. Well, file that under. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> they are the folks that were in the movie, The Last Blockbuster. If you haven't seen that movie, it's well worth streaming. Check it out, it's really great. It's literally the last blockbuster. And they were due to be at Megacon this weekend, where we'll be tomorrow, and they got bumped, so instead, they just set up shops for one day. It's literally just today that they're gonna be there with this whole exhibit. And they had to bring all those tapes and DVDs and stuff like that in from all multiple sites. And I'm blown away, dude. That was so cool. What an unexpected thing. I'm yeah, so, really feeling so like cool. maybe we did get into an accident somewhere back there. All right, so now the proper intro, we're, well, I, you know what? We didn't see where the guitar thing <laughs> was either. That was also bizarre, but, so there was no guitar thing and instead blockbuster video, but we're at the Central Florida Fairgrounds in Orlando, quite possibly the worst venue that I've ever gone to in this state or most other states. It's a dump. And uh, tonight it's Static X, Seven Dust and Dope. Static X and Dope have a very similar looking lead singer. <laughs> but uh, honestly, we're here because we saw Static X last year, but I've never seen Dope. Mm -hmm. And that's the band I want to see the most. We've seen Seven Dust a bunch of times, but I'm here for Dope and love them. And I think they only play like five or six songs, but I'm going to enjoy the hell out of those five or six songs. And then we've got three other bands or two other bands that are really awesome. They have merch with no line. The dope merch. The dope merch is pretty dope. I love this shirt, but it has such limited places that I could wear it. Seven Dust has their stuff here. That's cool. And then Static X. Oh my God, I love that Zero Fucks Given shirt. I'm gonna have to get that. Again, not sure where I'll wear it, but I need it. First things first. Lines of Loyalty is on right now, and that's the like opening, opening band. 
is a pretty elaborate bar here just for one night. So normally this grass field is all open for the show and tonight, no, just down below. The floor is all concrete. Loyalty out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Want to thank you guys all so much for coming early tonight. Gets a little bit bigger. Who's first time to see a Lions loyalty? First time or show of hands. Come on. to be backstage on the bus playing Legos. Okay. I'm sorry.
hands in the air. I want to see everybody bouncing right now. I would like to dedicate this song to Exo. Exo Dope from the band Dope. We did this song for you tonight. Would you guys like to hear it, Orlando? This is a song called Black. Let me see your hands in the air. It was amazing, but I couldn't tell what was live and what was recorded. There's so much pre-recorded there. In between bands, they're playing the Monster Mash. Check out the mic stand. We're sound checking.
the crowd is not exactly packed in here. I think it was bigger for seven dust. So it is the next morning after the show. Uh, what a night, what a bizarre night. Uh, the blockbuster stuff, just total, total 90s. Um, the concert itself, really cool. It was really weird to see that they booked the Orlando Amphitheater or Fairgrounds uh, because it's a bigger venue. It's like kind of like where festivals run, like Earth Day Birthday and things like that. And uh, they only had, <laughs> literally in the pit area, it's concrete, which is, unbelievably the most unsafe thing for the rock shows that they run there because it's usually pretty uh, slam-tastic. And uh, the bands, they all perform really well. I will say the, the disappointing part was the level of Milli Vanilliness, and I know it's come out lately with It's All Dope saying, you know, there's a lot of bands that need to have uh, tracks. And I do think for some things like, you know, like the Rob Zombie-esque type stuff for Dope and for, um, for Static X, you need to have those loops. Those are the pieces that are in the song. But Seven Dust, I want to say like at least 20-25% of the stuff that they played, you couldn't discern. Like it was it was definitely just straight out tracks. And there were parts where Lejean was walking away from the mic and the vocals were still going completely. And there's no background, nobody standing in the mics. It's it was basically like watching half of a pantomime and half of a show, and to me, that really detracted. I love Seven Dust. Mary loves Seven Dust. Um, and we've seen them many times, and to see them using more and more and more of the, the background tracks, really, really disappointing. Um, but anyway, fun night out at the show, and uh, we'll be back for more. For now, we're gonna get out of here. Thanks a lot for coming with us. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. Have a great morning. Sunrise. See you guys.